welcome, welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG, and I am your host, Dr. Suck It. And tonight, we are looking at a deck which is called Boros Agro. I ended up picking it up off of, uh, what is this called here, untapped.gg, which uh, said that this is a deck that I could put together with my library. And I have not played a good Boros deck in a long time. Uh, yesterday, we were messing around with a uh, red deck, and I noticed a lot of the cards that are in here are from that red deck. Mixed in a little bit of a white, and this sounds like, once again, nothing but fun. So let's take a look at what we're dealing with here. We've got uh, Usher of the Fallen, which creates additional tokens. Uh, plus, it's a 2-1-for-1, one one, a lot like the Fallen Wrath, well, whatever it is, chick from yesterday. we got the Fireblade Charger who's a 1-1 one, one for 1 and deals damage equal to its power to any target when it dies. Uh, Intrepid Adversary, when you play the cost, put that many Valor counters on Intrepid Adversary. Creatures you control gets plus 1 for each Valor counter. So this guy pumps up everybody. That's pretty decent. Uh, Lumeric Aspirant, everybody knows what that guy does. The Cargan Intimidator, he's the Swiss Army Knife of 2-mana creatures. We got Elite Spellbinder, who will allow you to look at your opponent's hand, which is awesome, as well as pick out a card and make it more expensive. Plus, he's a flyer with three for damage, which is good. Ah, we got the Reckless Stormseeker, my MVP from yesterday. Uh, Angel Fire Ignition, which is a sorcery. Put two plus one, plus one counters on target creature. It gains Vigilance, Trample, Lifelink, Indestructible, and Haste until the end of the turn. And you get to play it a second time. So that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Huh. All right, we got uh, Showdown of the Scalds, which is Exile, the top four cards of your library. Until the end of your turn, you may play those cards whenever you cast a spell this turn. Put a plus one. Okay, so this gives you access to more cards, and then you get to pump up your dudes. And, of course, the Blade Historian. Over here, it looks like we got uh, two man lands. We got a couple ma double uh, double manas there. And we got uh, white or red, and then we got red and white. So all that comes together. It's a very simple hand. It looks like it's just rush out there, fight, and pump a little bit with double striking, potentially. So let's see how this baby burns. All right, for our first game, we're going up against Pancake Booty Sauce. Love the name, Pancake Booty Sauce. Number one, I can pronounce it. Number two, it has the word booty in it. Number three, Booty Sauce. Love, love, love it. So thank you so much. Um, yeah, let's do that. Reveal the mountain, submit, and throw out our usher. Think this guy's playing blue? Black. All right. Uh, I can't do anything with this, so I'll just start putting out some stuff like this. We'll go for that, and we will create our ability, giving ourselves a second dude. Next turn, we're going for the Elite Spellbinder. Black and blue. Let's see what they got in their hand. Hopefully it's not a counterspell. It is a counterspell! Well, we got next turn, right? Yeah, that guy's a three. Not good for us. All right, let's see. He's all tapped out, so we can do whatever we want. Let's see what he's got in his hand. All right, we got Soren. We got a stupid-ass dragon. We got Siphon Insight. And another Trespasser. Uh, like the top card. You know what? I hate this guy. Let's get rid of him. Okay, Usher the Fallen, and no tax. Yeah, okay, so I got enough money to put out my Double Striker now. Uh, yeah, let's do that. And pull this guy out, and then we shall attack in, taking out Soren.
I got a 1-1 one, one you can kill. Yep. All right. And I put out my last guy there. Hopefully we'll wipe the board. That would senior suck. But with the colors he's got, uh, I'd imagine he'd have to get at least two more mana. Yeah, whatever, man. That would have been nice. And we shall attack. Activate the ability, throw out another dude. Oh no! So really we're at the end of what we can do at this point other than just double strike attacking it over and over again. Hoping for the best. Yeah, man, I might as well just sit on it, make it pretend I'm going to do something cool with it. And go. But you're my ace in the hole, so not you. Birth that baby. Birth that baby. All right, we're done. So his deck sucks so much that he has to try to randomly grab one for mine. There we go. Suck it. All right, for our next game, we're going up against... Matty P73. And we got three mana and a bunch of Uvite Spellbinders, which luckily cost three mana. All right, Matty P73. What you got? Not a lot of cards in your hand. Decline. <laughs> All right, it's a mono black and a little bit of green. Mm, see, for third turn, should I go for the throat or should I go for pinning him down? I think we should pin him down potentially by going after what's in his hand. He'll be desperate because he's got so little cards. I'm touching it. I'm touching. All right, third mana. Pin down a card. Oh, what do we want to do here? Loth is, he's got Infernal Grasp. Let's view the battlefield. We got there. Three mana. View browser. All right. Uh, Infernal Grasp is gone. Uh, we'll take the Lumera Sprint. And... No attacks. Yeah, I was afraid that he might sacrifice everything to take that out. All right, we're going to pin down Lolf now. Put out the den of the bugbear. We are going to buff up Elite Superfly Spellbinder Snoka and go for the attack. Okay, we have the ability to put out the Blade Historian on the next turn. He'll probably go for the super kill if he doesn't do it this turn. 
There we go. Thank you, I appreciate that. All right, Blade Historian. Uh, yeah, we'll pump up the Elite Spellbinder and we'll go in for the attack with him. It'll be eight points of damage. There we go. All right, for this, we're going up against Matthew, not Matty P73, but Matthew. I'm sure he is way more mature than the last person. Three mana and a fairly decent hand. Let's keep it and get going. Uh, nothing with red, but I'll go ahead and put uh, this guy out. I can do this dual land next. All right, and we will put out a, uh, yes, yeah, to the Kurgan. Cause that way the aspirant can blossom him on the next turn. All right, let's see. If I pump them up by one and zero, it makes them a four one. And I could also choose. Oh, I can't do that. All right, let's just pump this guy through. Uh, yeah, sure. No, he'll just sack it to something. All right, I guess he's getting pinned down. Ooh, I was misunderstood. I completely think that that was a bad call. That was a hit. All right, uh, we got three in this situation. I shall put out one and two. Let's give it to this guy. And let's make that. And let's go for the attack. There we go. It looks like we're just uh, trading our hits here. Mm. Oof, I'm glad I did it. Can I win on this turn? Everything's up. So throw out a mana. Let's just see before I do anything. I can only cast one card, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll put it out as a white. And so this would be everything gets up by plus one. On this one, I could do what? Trample, lifelink, indestructible. Lifelink might not be bad at this point. I'm not sure I can hold it out too well. I just don't feel like doing the math. All right, uh, target creature we control, haste, and all attack. Oh ho ho! Good game. All right, so that was uh, Boros Aggro. It was a good deck. It was a toasty deck at that. I it, it really did well. Uh, I gotta say, you know, Blade Historian does what Blade Historian does. It makes everything so much better. Um, you know, in the last game, it really came down to whether we were going to play some Angel Fires or whether we were going to use the uh, Intrepid Adversary with giving his uh, as a glorious anthem kind of effect. It turned out the Intrepid Adversary's glorious anthem by far worked out way better than expected, especially when coupled with the Reckless Stormseeker, uh, allowing it to add to hastily work on the turn that it was put out. 
this deck synergizes well. Uh, you know, we never saw Showdown of the Scalds. That never came up. Uh, I never played Angel File Ignition. I don't really know if it's that, you know, it was probably a great card. Just never played it. Uh, but if any if any card on here was kind of, I think, a little on the useless side, it was probably Usher of the Fallen. I, maybe there's a better card. I mean, when it comes down to it, having a 2-1 one for 1 is always great. I just, uh, it's just a card. I, I might find something that had a better utility to it for 1. I'm just not sure what it would be right now. But anyways, I highly recommend this deck. I think it was really fun to play, and I would recommend you using it as well. All right, well, that's it for tonight. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Um, otherwise, I had a fun time playing and a fun time being here with you. Have a good night, and I will talk to you later. Bye.